No wonders, please. We've got an exciting video today. I guess it's exciting. Um, <clears throat> as always, though, before we start, don't forget cardshells.com. Enter code no wander, N O W A N D E R, no spaces at break. Get 10% off your first order, $10 off each order after that. So, what happened to yesterday as I was driving home? I noticed there was a garage sale. So I pulled over and they had some baseball cards. Uh, I got this big, huge box of baseball cards and this folder here. Of, it's a, I think it's a complete set. It says 91 upper deck, one through 800. So I was, I bought this big, huge box of baseball cards. It looks like mostly junk wax. But um, as I was leaving, he ran out and said, hey, I got this uh, binder I'll sell to you. And I was like, yeah, 91, not really interested. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you for five bucks. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll take it. So we're gonna take a look at some of the cards that are in it. It looks like they're put in here backwards, but it is a complete set. They have each one marked with outrageous prices. Um, this set is probably only worth maybe 20 bucks, um, but for five bucks, you know, oh well, I'll take it. So it is, yeah, it's sequentially numbered. So I think there was a Jordan SP this year. I don't know a lot about 91 upper deck. Even though I was collecting baseball cards back then, it was all about 89 upper deck, I think, with the Ken Griffey. So, you know, this set isn't worth the prices that are on here, but oh well, let's see. It's put together in here nicely. Got a lot of, uh, I think he's got the whole collection of every team uh, as far as the stickers. So it was put together with some care. Oh, there is. Oh, these are, I don't know what SS's are. SS1. So it's got a mini set, Baseball Heroes. Hmm. Don't know much about that. But it's got the whole set of the Baseball Hero. And then these SS's, I'm not sure what those are. SPs would be short print, but not sure what SS's are. Oh, and look, there is a Jordan. So for five bucks, I got a Jordan. It looks like there's more than one Jordan in here. What? Let's see. Maybe a couple Jordans. Let's see. I'm trying to take these out with some care. So, there are two, two Jordan SPs. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in a top loader. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try to send these off. I'll clean them later, but I'll put them in the large sleeves. Since I have some handy right here, grading sleeves. And we'll get these off to the upgrade shop. That one may be a little bit OC. This one looks a lot better. This one right here. This one's a little bit OC. Uh, we'll go ahead and prepare these for the upgrade shop. <clears throat> As always, I don't have my stuff ready and handy. There we go. So get these from card shells and they're about half the price of the card saver twos that they recommend you send off to PSA. Get 
these from card shells. They're submission loaders. Yeah. Get these sent off. I'll clear them before we send them off, but that's cool. Got two of those. I don't know what this is. SP. It's a short print. Nolan Ryan throws a no hitter. SP2. I have to look up comps on that. I don't know if that's worth sending off or not. But good hit, huh? Good hit for five bucks, I guess. It worked out great. But it is a complete set, so it looks like it was tagged for sale somewhere, but well, we'll see. Send those off. Get them graded. See if we get a 10. All right. And what else we got here? I don't, I just looked at it really quickly, but it did look like some 89 Bowman unopened packs. So we got a box of 89 Bowman. There's some top loaded basketball cards. We've got a autograph. Don't know who that is. If anybody knows who this is, let me know. Not sure who that is. Looks like I got a little stand. Yeah. And then we have some top loaded cards right there. Let's see what else we got. I thought it was all like junk wax stuff. You know what, we're gonna take all this out and take a look at it. Let me get all this out of this box. Here. I'll take a look at it. it. Looks like junk wax stuff, but these 1989 Bowman unopened packs. Looks like a whole box. Running out of room here. Okay. More loose cards. So, then we have a factory sealed complete set of 1988 tops. Well, let's get this out of the way. It's a little unorthodox. Um, didn't really a break. Just kind of what I found. At a garage sale. So, this 89, I know nothing about really. I thought there was another pack. Here it is. So, a whole box of 89. Looks like they were marked $20 a piece. I don't know if this is a complete 36 count. Let's count them and see if there's all 36 here. There's gum in there, definitely. Let's go. Comeback edition. So if you don't know anything about Bowman, this was the first year they started back with Bowman. I don't know when the last year was, but yeah, they started back this year. So 36 packs would be a complete box. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
26, not gonna be a complete box. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. It is a complete box of 89 Bowman. Don't know how much that is. I'll put a comp for it somewhere down here in the video. So that's a complete box of 89 Bowman, and I bought this whole thing for um, 10 plus the five for the binder, so $15. Let's go through some of these cards here. and see what we got. Looks like there's some loose football and some type of USA Olympic cards, maybe? So, we have a, these are 91 Donruss. We got a Ricky Henderson, Eddie Murray, a George Brett Highlights. So, pretty cool little throwback. Some of the old cards, you can see it's a 91 Fleer. So it looks like most of this stuff is from early 90s. Um, not worth anything really. Uh, Tony Fernandez, Gerald Young, Wally Joyner, he used to be one of my favorite players. Mike Stanton. This is all just old junk wax stuff. If you remember, you used to get these stickers in there too. The Pirates. Or this. 91 Fleer. And then we have a Carl Lee All Pro football card. Then we got some 89 Donruss. Wouldn't it be something if we found a Griffey rookie? Just chilling. <clears throat> Juan Gonzalez. And that's going to be a 92 Donruss. So, not don't know much about this stuff. There's a Randall Cunningham. Hmm. He was my brother's favorite player for a long time. Chris Miller. Andre Dawson. These are in pretty bad shape. The corners are dinged up on most of them. So, even if I did find a Griffey doubt it would be a 10. Oh, look at that, Reggie White. Reggie, Reginald White. I'm not sure what year these are. Not, don't really know my football cards very well. Looks like an 89, maybe. 89 tops. Looks like somebody bought a couple packs of Fleer back in the day. Fernando Valenzuela. Yep. So like I said, this isn't really one of the, one of my uh, break videos. Still kind of getting together stuff for my next break. Got some more products coming. Got a lot of, lot of 2022 uh, update coming in the mail. I've just about got my $500 worth of, um, it's like some kind of Nolan Ryan Coca-Cola set. These cards are all stuck together. Stickiness. So it's fun to buy some stuff like this, look at it. A little blast of the past. Oh, there's a Dan Marino. And that looks like a score, right? It's got the score, the like, oh, Pro Set. Pro Set Marino. Ventura, Walt Weiss, <laughs> Mike Greenwell. Let's see what else we got here. Don't know what these are. Monsters of the Gridiron. Q 
Ken Harvey. Hardy Nickerson. Cortez Kennedy. Tom Rathman. Junior Seau. And a Randall Cunningham. Another Monsters of the Gridiron. Eric Swan. Hmm. Interesting stuff. And we got a Tim Brown All Pro score. More Monsters of the Gridiron. <laughs> Interesting cards. Don't know anything about those. Not a big football collector. Don't, they look like they were probably tons of them made. They're Coca-Cola, so. I'll get some comps on these. Put them in the, on the video. Yeah. These are just a bunch of junk wax, really. Well, nothing too exciting yet. Interested to look through these top loaded cards and see. So Bobby Bonilla, I think the um, Mets are still paying that dude. I don't know what these Olympic cards are worth. Probably nothing. I don't imagine there's much call for them. Wouldn't it be neat to get a no name Frank in here? And we have a Terry Mulholland. So, pretty uneventful. I do like this though. That's pretty neat. A whole box of Bowman for, what, 15 bucks? I don't know what the packs of those are selling for, but there's a Maddox worth about 10 cents. See. Most of this stuff is not gonna be worth anything. Looking for a Griffey rookie. Some of these are in decent enough shape. There's an Eric Metcalf rookie. There's a Warren Moon score. Brings us to the end of this junk wax, just loose cards that were in the box. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the box. I don't think there'll be any need for me to hold on to these. If anybody wants them, go ahead and message me and I'll send them to you. Uh, free of charge, you just pay the shipping. So at least Coca Cola cards. It's just some dust on it, so. Yep. No one Ryan, Coca-Cola cards. Pretty neat. Probably list those on eBay. I don't know if anybody will buy them, but we'll see. And then we have these. I don't know if they're worth anything. Somebody let me know in the comments below. Uh, looks like there's a Greg Luganis, Jim Thorpe, just uh, Olympic cards. I don't know. They don't, don't look like there's any parallels or anything like that. It's all, it looks like it's all U.S. people. Oh, <laughs> this card is actually upside down. Here we go. Scott Hamilton. I know who that is. Billy Mills. So, if you want these, let me know. I can send them to you. I'll put some comps down in the, during the video. I doubt those are worth anything. I'm still excited about, I mean, 15 bucks and I got 
two of these, right? I will check the price on those Nolan, that Nolan Ryan short print too. Now this is what I saw and I was interested in. I'm gonna take these out. We got some mini snaps. Looks like a pack of classic Proline Live Premier Edition. Don't know what that is. Let's take a look. All right. Do you see what I saw? These are there's some old cards in here. I thought this was all trash. I really, when I saw the top loaders with like um, Bo Jackson in it, I was like, uh, it's not gonna be worth it. Probably some kid just, or somebody put together something. So there's a, I had a Metcalf rookie earlier. I'm gonna do these last. Let's see what this is. These looks like little mini cards. Don't know if those are worth anything. Probably not. So yeah, I'll get a cop on those. Looks like Bo Jackson, um, Barry Bonds, Kevin Mitchell. Doubt those are worth anything. Shane Conklin and a David Braxton rookie. Those won't be worth anything I know. Oh, look, one of my favorite players growing up, Mike Scott. He was drafted by the Mets. This is his rookie card, I think. A Steve Carlton. <laughs> oh, we have a Gary Sheffield rookie card. With a rookie card of Gary Sheffield on the back. Doc Gooden and a Daryl. I don't know what's in there. Ricky Jordan, Steve Bedrosian. Not really worth anything. 87 Cal, All-Star. Got a Will Clark MVP and the 86 Will Clark. This is a Nolan Ryan. Just a bunch of different players on the same card. Looks like an 85 maybe. You know, really yellowed top loader <clears throat> we got this Ricky Henderson and that is going to be I don't think that's a rookie card is it? no this rookie card would have been 80 this looks like 81 I'm gonna go ahead and top load or put that in the sleeve anyway even though it's OC and corners are dinged up Nice little find. I don't know if anybody wants that, really. Oh, we got an autograph of Rick Honeycutt. We'll send that off to PSA and get it authenticated. Then we got more Nolans. Oh, it's gonna be Oh, this is like a pack, Coca-Cola pack. Got another Coca-Cola pack. So two Coke packs, loose Coke cards. I don't know where the other ones went. I don't know if those are worth anything. I have a Tim Brown record breaker with a Chris Spielman rookie on the back. Tom Brookins. Mike Heath, I don't know. There's another Mike Heath, I don't know if he. There's a single Terry All Pro, Lars Tate. I don't know why they have these in top loaders. There's a Barry Bonds, 89 Donruss. Hart Lee Dykes, I don't know who that is. And it looks like a Tim Raines. Is this a rookie? I think it is. Tim Raines rookie card, anybody? These are not in sleeves, so. 
And this card is pretty dinged up, right? Corners are messed up. So it's not just a great card, but hey, what do you know? It's a rookie. It's Tim Raines. Let's see who this is. Brett. George Brett and Rod Carew Kellogg's. Looks like a these were available in cereal. Looks like kind of like a action motion card. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. If those are worth anything. Raymond Martinez. I actually grew up in San Antonio. <clears throat> he used to play for the San Antonio Missions. He was good. I thought he was going to be good for a while. Didn't really pan out. I don't know if he got hurt or John Smoltz. Smoltzy. Is that his rookie card? I think it is. I think 89 is his rookie card. No, it's not. Is it? Yep, it is. So Smoltzy rookie. I don't know if those are worth anything. I doubt it. Maybe in a PSA 10, they'll be fetch 40 bucks. Something like that. So, I don't know. We're not going to get them graded. That's for show. Sure. Forgot about this Mike Schmidt All-Star. Interesting cards, anyway. Interesting cards. We got a Jim Abbott. He was, he only had one hand, actually. He was a pitcher. <clears throat> Steve Carlton, victory leaders, Mark Grace, rookie. Chris Sabo. <laughs> That's funny because he was actually like the original Otani, pitcher and a batter. Dave Dravecki. So a lot of these are just waste of top loaders. Rob Dibble, Mike Greenwell. Um, so yeah, that's some cards, I guess. <laughs> now, here's what I was really interested in. Look what we got here. A Charles Barkley. Look at how the young Chuck looks. That's a Fleer. That is not his rookie card. Hang it, I thought it was. Um, that is an 87 Fleer. 87 Fleer. Chuck. Put him over there. We got a Cal Ripken 1982. And this is his rookie card. Sweet. Rookie Cal Ripken. 1982 Donruss. That's a nice little find. We have a Steve Carlton. And this is a 19... 68, you know what that is? 1968, Steve Carlton. Not his rookie. I'll put some comps for this stuff in the description. And we have a Barry Sanders rookie. He was a pretty good guy. Pretty good. 1989 rookie card of Barry Sanders. Oh, here we go. Let me get this in a sleeve. That is not going to be a 10. It's got some uh, issues right here at the bottom. Not a 10. But, rookie. Ken Griffin Jr. No way. That is a horrible signature. Don Maddie. Dan Maddie. <laughs> I'll have to look at a, I, I don't think that's a real signature. Surely not. Not a signature of Don. If it is, he's a horrible signer. Got a Daryl Strawberry, and that is a rookie. 
Rookie Straw. Let's see here. Try to get some of these in a little bit better protection. That one's not in good shape either. So this is probably some kid's collection or some somebody that collected back in the day. I don't know, do you think I got my money's worth here? I don't know. <laughs> I guess 15 bucks, you know. What are you gonna complain about? This Junior Seau, Derek Thomas rookie, got a Moses Malone. These these were our, these have been torn. They were probably on, yeah, like this. Somebody tore these off and the Julius Irving. I don't even know what these are worth, if they're worth anything. Somebody actually checked the boxes on the back. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right there. And we have the infamous. <laughs> this is the, the Billy Ripken with the cuss word right here. <laughs> what a card. I don't know if that's worth anything. Uh, this is definitely seen better days. It's got a big, huge wrinkle right here. But it is the error card. And I don't know how many of these there are out there. But this is the one that got by. And it's got the F face down in the corner there. <laughs> what do you know? So we got some interesting cards here. This is autographs. I, I, I really don't think these are real. That would be a Hank Aaron Willie Mays autograph. I doubt that's real, right? That looks so fake. This little curly H here. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't have much hope that that's real. <clears throat> Wade Boggs 85. This is his rookie. Looks in decent shape. So we're getting some, I mean, decent enough cards. Here's a Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. This is a 74. Seriously OC, bad corners. But, you know, it's a Hank Aaron. Look at this guy. Young Pete Rose. <laughs> and this is a 1968. Pete Rose, very off center, a little corner damage, but it's there. We have a Frank Thomas rookie. When I saw the back of this, I was like, oh, please be the no name. It is not the no name. It's just the regular Frank Thomas rookie. We have a Tom Seaver, and that is going to be a 73, 73 Tom Seaver. What do we have here? It's a Clyde Drexler. Trailblazers. And this is a 1987 Fleer. We have another Chuck. And this is a... No idea. It's a sticker. So that's a sticker. <clears throat> I don't know what year that is. Put some comps. Here's a Rod Carew for the twins. And this is a 1969. And then more of these that are torn, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Don't know that those are worth anything when they're torn like that. And then we have another suspect signature of Mark McGuire with an Oral Hershiser on the back. So all in all, I don't know, comment below, 15 bucks. Did you see anything that would be worth just a ton of money? I mean, these two, if they're, this one will not make a 10. This one could possibly, I don't know. We'll have to take a closer look at it. Um, we did get the 
Tim Raines rookie, but it's in bad shape. The Cal Rickman Jr. rookie. Uh, pretty good shape on that one, but it, it wouldn't make a 10. So, also two packs of these Nolan Coca-Cola cards. Let me know down below if you think I did good. Also, I don't know what this pack is. 1993 Premier Edition NFL. I don't know. I'll have to check and see if that's worth anything. But let me know. Did I do good? I think I did. 15 bucks for all this. Good job. Thanks for watching and have a great day.